Hi, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Loser 101 video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to farm Dreamstone reagents efficiently. Now, I have looked all over Wallaroo and I was waiting to make this video because I wanted to see how efficient I can actually make this. And this is honestly the most efficient way I can actually get Dreamstone. There might be other guys that are probably already on YouTube, but this is the way I've been farming it because I already have a lot. I have 999 on one of my characters. I just like to move stuff over to like craft all the gear and stuff like that. So um, there's that. But a lot of people want to farm this Dreamstone that's like right here, for example. And I will tell you guys how to do it efficiently. So if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all type of stuff and uh yeah let's quickly go over it so of course when it comes to the map you want to go to billabong resort billabong resort is going to be like your best friend when it comes to farming these reagents uh there's other spots as well i know some people are talking about the outback and stuff like that but from my experience i've tried the outback there's not really like an efficient route um and it requires like you leaving marks and stuff like that which honestly i don't even recommend um at that point but this one is just better because there's dreamstone that's literally alongside the whole resort and they can be spawned like in the tent areas they can be spawned all alongside here and sometimes if there isn't a dreamstone usually there'll be a cantrip chest so what i like to do is i'll like get two other people that i know that are also farming dreamstone or what i'll do is since i'm usually quad boxing i will just hop on my two alts and just cantrip the chest to get more of the spellaments because you obviously are trying to max out the new spells if you guys haven't um i haven't even done the spell quest on this character but Obviously, players are going to want to max these out, and uh, you're going to hit the cantrip chest anyways while you're doing this. So you're you're basically doing two things at once, upgrading your spellments really efficiently, and you're also getting dreamstone to craft the gear, whatever's missing that you want to get. So we'll start off with this dreamstone. We'll start off with one. Uh, you can get up to three from my experience. I've been getting up to like one, sometimes two, sometimes three. If you are doing this, I highly recommend that you activate a crafting benefit elixir. I don't think I have one on me at the moment. Uh, it's probably somewhere in my bank but there will be a better way of farming this and that's just using the crafting elixir um i always recommend that you get it from majid whenever you get the chance yeah he will have it time to time so it's really just better to get it off of him uh whenever you see the opportunity to what i also like to do is i just grab the wooden chest um usually there will be a dreamstone right here so like right here there is one that did spawn in and I got three this time around. So once I do that, I come over here and check because sometimes there is a dreamstone in this corner um, and I will grab it, but there's none right here or it will be over here, but there is none this time around. So what we'll just do is quickly check, go back this way. I kind of might make a zigzag formation in a way. Um, see, there's one that actually spawned right here too. So we get that, that's another three dreamstone. And then what I do is I like to do, go right here because sometimes there'll be a chest right here. We'll grab it. Um, and then sometimes there'll be a dreamstone right here or right here so then i just go back um obviously you can do this as any way you want but this is just the way i've been doing it for the past like couple hours and then this time around there's a wooden chest here instead there this could be a dreamstone spot and then sometimes a dreamstone would spawn right here at this location so like just all alongside the hotel you'll just get dreamstone right and i expect a lot of people already to like know this because people have been farming this pretty wild um and people found out pretty fast because once you see a bunch of dreamstone it's like okay buddy like i need this um see there's another wooden chest like basically all these wooden chest spawns could have been dreamstone there's even more dreamstone right here you guys can see um there you go like just from that alone i got almost 10 dreamstone uh and then of course this could have been a dreamstone location but you know just for the purpose of the video I'll just cantrip it and pretend like, you know, if I was with my two other friends or my two other accounts, I would just cantrip this and get more spell elements alongside of it. And then what I would do is if I'm still on a cooldown, which most of the times when you're switching realms, you by the time you come back all the way here and you want to switch to the next realm, you already be off cooldown. But if for some reason you are not right and you're still on the cooldown for like another like 20 seconds, what I personally like to do is I go to Kali Ranch right afterwards. Because there has been like one or two times where I'm just like still on cooldown for like another like 10 seconds, maybe, right? And I quickly just go over here, I check these corners, and sometimes there is one. So like this wooden chest could have been a dreamstone. There's a dreamstone right here that you can quickly grab. 
Um, and then there's these extra bonus reagents where I like to grab. But there would be Dreamstone all alongside here as well that could possibly spawn. Uh, silver chest you can do if you really want to. And then of course we have another cantrip chest. So for, for example, if I was on my alts, I would cantrip this of course and continue my rotation. Just like that, I got spell elements because someone else or already else has left two over there. Uh, and then you got another Dreamstone right here all alongside this whole area. Um, we're, we're even getting stone blocks from here. So it's a really efficient farm if you can get it down pretty well. And of course, you can use the Azoth pet if you have it equipped. So obviously, I don't have mine equipped, but you can equip that um, if you really wanted to while getting bonus reagents, of course. So now that we've done a one complete full rotation, um like i said if you want to do silver chest you can then what i just do is go back but i would only go here if you're still on your cooldown uh from switching realms but you would just go back to billabong resort in my case and then just switch realms again so for example i was in ghoul now what we're gonna do is go to gray rose but i you know there's a chance that other people are going to be farming this due to the fact of like how how badly people are down bad for these reagents and then right here, I just start the rotation again, starting from the beginning, and I just make my way all the way back over here. So like, see right here, there's a Dreamstone. You can also use your Elemental Scout, and boom, I get two Dreamstone, and I'm getting Azoth while doing this. So now you're stacking up all these buffs. You're getting Azoth, you can get Cattails from here, which I like to do sometimes. Then here's another Dreamstone. It, you're just, you're literally going to get so much Dreamstone from this, especially if you have a a benefit going on so if you have those crafting benefits i highly recommend that you do this it's literally the best thing ever um and i did it once and i had 999 <laughs> so same thing here we're gonna check back over here see there's another dream zone that spawned right here at that then we're gonna loop back over here because hey there's a possible chance that it might spawn right here as well um which is pretty straightforward but there's none there's none over here again in the back, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, there's not much we can do. Then we have another Dreamstone over here. Get that. And then what I like to do, like I said, is just go back over here. Of course, it's probably a little bit of waste of time to go back here and just check. But there is a potential spawn right here. So that's why I always just quickly check. You can honestly go back over here and then just loop back around. Um, that is a potential thing that you can do if you wanted to. But like I said, there's nothing here, which kind of sucks. So still, though, we're, we're up right now in Dreamstone. And look at the at the moment. What are we at right now? If we go to my Dreamstone. We're at 23 and that's like more than enough for like a lot of a lot of these new crafting recipes because the crafting recipes are pretty cheap if i'm being realistic here but yeah we got more chests more reagents more gold sure why not then there's another ritual trust so of course if i was on my alts i would just literally teleport to myself can't ship this so you guys can see the cycle going on and off right you just keep repeating this process and then you know if you want to do the silver chest you can um I don't really do them, even though there's a chance of it giving you spell elements for your school. I just don't see a reason to do them um, because it's just better to get the cantrip chest with your alts uh, or if you have buddies in a call or um, there's other people that you know that are farming this. So like I said, we're gonna go back to Kali Ranch now. If I was off timer or I mean, if I was still on timer, I would go over here. So literally same thing, quickly search around. Um, there's nothing, none in that corner. You grab the wooden chest, go over here. Grab another three Dreamstone, really, like nothing. <laughs> Just continue the cycle. And then this time around, there's another cantrip chest. So keep the system going. Just cantrip it. And you do get cantrips for, or you do get spell elements for all your schools. So keep that in mind. It's actually really beneficial to do those cantrip chests. Uh, and then we got stone blocks. I'm always going to be grabbing them because it's, it's free reagents like why not and then of course i'm still on cooldown on elemental scout so i can't get azoth from any of these which kind of sucks but it's okay and then we just loop all the way back around here and we basically finish the rotation so honestly it's a really easy rotation but only do the collie ranch one if you are still on cooldown i want you guys to keep that in mind if you if your cooldown is up just switch realms in um billabong resort and just keep going around in a circle right but there is a chance of it not being um reset and that's due to the fact of like hey maybe like you know that someone's farming over there and you're just you know you cut it short and you're like you know you're like well i have all this free time i'm just waiting for it to reset and that's when you would start going into 
uh, the next areas and stuff like that so it's pretty straightforward just keep doing this i uh, will do one more like quick rotation see if there's anything in here but i don't need dreamstone at the moment because once you get enough you're kind of just like sad <laughs> i wouldn't go too heavy on the dreamstone farming and there's another cantrip chest here we can quickly grab this as well why not in case somebody randomly hits this in the middle of the night because <laughs> at the time i'm recording this it is three in the morning <laughs> um because you know i've been up for these past couple days and i've been trying to make all of your guys' videos because you guys keep asking me about all of all your vids uh so i thought i would quickly just get this done because i've been silently farming all these things and i haven't streamed or uploaded a lot of these things so players just ask me in the discord and i just answer your guys' questions in the discord because you know if you're in the discord i treat you guys as more of a priority because of the fact that you guys are literally i can just message me type thing <laughs> so i try my best when it comes to uh giving you guys guides and all the boss guides as well are in the discord too if you guys are trying to find all the gear for Wallaroo check the discord literally everything is in the discord for you guys to make it easier for you this time around we didn't get any reagents over here but there's a reagent over here which is a w of course so we'll grab that more dreamstone to the vault and like it's so easy farm look there's another dreamstone right there grab that and then we can even use the elemental scout why not so now i got two dreamstone and brass and i'm getting azoth See, like this time around, all the dreamstones spawned on this side instead of on the right side. So that's another plus for us as well. Another cantrip chest. So there's a cantrip chest over there and there's one right here. So in reality, I would have got like seven spell elements already for all the schools. So you can max out your spells pretty quick, uh, at least this time around for Wallaroo. So I highly recommend that you guys do it. And then we'll just grab this as well and just there you go. So really easy farm, a really easy dreamstone farm. I highly recommend that you do it here. Uh, of course, do it wherever you like, you know. Um, we got 36 from me not even trying, right? I wasn't even trying. Usually if I was tryharding, I would set my characters in separate spawn points and just literally just keep teleporting to each one of my characters. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that for the purpose of the video. So there's that. So that's basically how you farm dreamstone the efficient way, which I've been doing with an elixir. If you have a crafting benefit elixir, I highly recommend that you do it and just use it once and be done. You don't need more than 999 Dreamstone, <laughs> if we're being realistic. Um, but yeah, I will upload a video on how to get the Dream Water because I know I have a lot. You guys already saw uh, <laughs> in my inventory, if you guys are paying attention, that I do have 999 plus Dream Water. So there will be a video regarding that in the next uh, couple hours or so. So be on the lookout for that. But hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that type of stuff. Best of luck in your endeavors in Wallaroo. Let me know how the farming goes. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.